Taco Talks TV. Hey man, say man, thanks for pressing play, man. We coming in with the voice of the you and my man Frodo. You know what I'm saying? Going out. Uh, how you been though? What's 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 up? Hey man, I just been working like working a lot in every area of my life. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. just working. Yeah. <laughs> trying to elevate. Just trying to elevate for real. Yeah. Uh, so talk to them, tell them about yourself, tell them where you're from. I, uh, you know, I'm Young Frodo, Prince of the East Side. Yeah. East Side of Montgomery County. Hey, from yeah. Silver Spring. Okay. Silver Spring, Fairland area. Yeah. Uh, been making music for a while. I've done like everything basically. Yeah. Like yeah. shit. Yeah. Like, I, I've been done like everything. But, and uh, just continuing to make music all the yeah. time. I make music for myself, my team, and then I'm I'm also an engineer, so I yeah. record everybody else. Okay. The place. Hell yeah. And how's that been as far as being an engineer up until this point and then switching over to the artist side? It's, it kind of go hand in hand because it's like the the artist side, that's where you get all your creativity, that's where you're making everything. And then the, the engineering side, that's where you'd be polishing everything. Yeah. That's where you, it's like there's more regimental you know, type shit. Yeah. And you know, oh yeah, like I just feel like. The artist side, that's where I get to like get into like me and myself. But with yeah. the engineer side, is more I'm focused on like all the other artists. You know? Yeah, yeah. But it, it all kind of ties in together. When both of those aspects meet, how do you think it, it affects your work? When they both meet, it affects my work. Yeah, like it. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like it affects my work in the way that like I get all my experiences from all the people that I record, and yeah. then like when it gets to my music, I already know like everything that could go wrong and yeah. everything that goes right. So yeah. it just makes my my music way easier to make. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. yeah I like that. Um, tell them about the new project you got. All right, so my new project is called Neptune. Yeah, uh, it's just basically like me talking about my life over the last year, basically since yeah. like uh, December 2018. That's where it starts at the beginning. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, and just. All, like everything I've been through with like relationships with whoever and yeah. just my working you know, like I got a song talking about like how it is to work with all these different artists and just work like that type yeah. shit and yeah just my thoughts on philosophies of life and all that shit yeah. all the way through yeah, yeah so give us a little bit of still I like um I listened to a couple of the songs I like Beavery I yeah. like um Neptune that's another one I think it starts with like a R I can't think of what it's called right now. Um, let me see. But yeah, you definitely had some. I, I like the sound that you got, and, and most of them. But talk about artwork on that shit. Yeah, talk about talk about uh, how you've been able to take what's been going on in your life and mixing that into the track. Like we see that most of the time. All right, so that's gonna be a cover right there. Okay. Yeah, that's it's like, It's it's cool because it's like it's your growth. Yeah, exactly. Like these are all like pictures that I've taken over the last year. Yeah. And like I, I got one for each song. There's 15 songs on the Jane. There's yeah. 15 pictures of me. Okay. And they all kind of like show like different parts of me. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. And then like this drawing Jane, that was just a doodle I didn't work, but it was okay. kind of like a self portrait. And it's just like, yeah, you know, like, you know, yeah, I, yeah, I've been yeah. going through it. Okay. And like with love type shit, and like that's like my scar. Like I got that this year. Yeah. Like all that, and, like just. 301, yeah. always repping 301 yeah, type shit, yeah, all that. Yeah. Hey, show them, show them your 301. Hell oh, yeah, the 301. <laughs> hey, 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 look, we got an interview in the vault. Bro, show me that. 301, you know what I'm saying? That shit, hard to right tell. 301, hell oh, yeah. Yeah, so like, that's my team, 301 Sound. Yeah. Like, we, we all be repping the 301 type yeah. shit, just doing all, all our own different types of music and all yeah. that shit coming together at certain points. And yeah, like, I'm just another installment of that. Like, yeah. that shit, yeah. 
we all come. We all come. Three hundred one sign. Three hundred one. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah! And give <laughs> us give us a little bit of spill about what's been going on in your life because you said you you had a lot going on. You got that scar. Oh uh, yeah, like yeah. So like I'm all yeah. All right. So basically, like I'm talking about from December 2018. That's when me and my baby mama broke up. Yeah. And like just how that was affecting me and all that shit and like. And, you know, you know that put me in a dark, a dark space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so then I'm just talking about like how I'm like remedying myself and trying yeah. to come back to like sanity type shit. You okay. Know what I'm saying? Okay. And then, but like at the same time, I'm just, like I'm back on my own, so I'm like, all right, what do I know how to do? I know how to record niggas, so that's yeah. that's what I'm doing all the time. Oh, yeah. I got my day job, and then I got uh, <laughs> recording niggas yeah, at night, yeah. every okay. night type shit. You know, hustle don't stop, bro. Right? Hustle don't stop, bro. Right? Like you can't stop until you get to where you're going. And then when you get to where you're going, you gotta keep going. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? There's some more to be done. Yeah, always, always something to be done. Always um, something to be done. So when you was when you were uh, making the project, right? Mm -hmm. What was it that stood out to you that you was like, okay, I gotta put this onto this beat or this song or the or the album in general or the tape in general, just so that you know, okay, I want these people to hear this part for sure. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, no, everything was calculated. Okay, everything was calculated. Like. I tried to show like all different types of all different sides of myself basically. Yeah. So like you gonna you gonna hear like a song that kinda like represents each part of my like yeah. personality type shit. Hell yeah, I like, definitely heard that. Yeah, yeah. So like you got like the like the uh the the gritty like I don't give a fuck like I'm fucking these bitches type yeah, shit, yeah, you know, yeah. like meters and like yeah, yeah. no gimmick type shit. Okay. But then you also got like the Oh, okay, I'm really looking at myself right now and how I'm feeling about my situation, yeah. like on like avoiding IG yeah. or like Neptune yeah, and like yeah. shit like that. And then you got like the Fuck all right, I'm actually trying to like uplift and like yeah. like show my like mentality to people and like just kinda like grow the youth into like yeah, yeah. you know, like, save them type shit on like how to go. Oh, right, here we here we go, my bad. Yeah. And like oh, cool. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, I'll be back. But um, talk about it like like uh, another song I like was "Fuck and Roll" or "F and Roll." Oh yeah, "F and Roll." Yeah, "Fuck and Roll." Yeah, yeah. 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 I didn't want to make the title vulgar, so I just yeah. said "F and Roll." Okay. But it's kind of like rock and roll. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. I, I saw that before before <laughs> I even played it. I'm like, okay, I like the wordplay you got going on here. What like what are some of the things from your life that tapped into this? Like other than your baby mom, other than your accent, like what are the things that on your everyday life, other than recording, that pour into this, you know what I'm saying? No, and exactly, like, especially, like, yeah, so, like, each song on there has, like, a story, yeah. like, specifically, but, like, so, like, with F and Roll, like, yeah. I'm talking about my relationship with this one girl where all we did was, was fuck every week, we yeah. smoke weed, so, yeah, like, yeah. Roll. so, yeah, and, like, it was just, like, and, like, how that like, kind of affected me type shit, so yeah. I'm, like, talking about, like, how, really, like, I feel like she's just using me to, yeah. uh, to heal her problems and shit, where, and honestly, I'm doing the same thing. So like, we're just really just here for lust. But like, while we're here for lust, we're gonna make it make it a good time. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So we're gonna fuck and roll, roll, fuck. You know I can respect that. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. And so, with with those kind of situations, like I feel like some people probably look over that like, yeah, that's what you're supposed to be doing. But what is it that for you it was like, all right, this is probably I don't know, like. I feel like when you say it was affecting your mind, did it end up actually helping you heal? No, and I, I, I really do think it did. Like honestly, like I, I kind of went through like a like a whole phase, like yeah. yeah, whatever. But like I felt like that actually like helped me to gain like self worth and like all that shit back. Hell yeah! Like, like just me thinking about each each of these different relationships with everybody that I'm dealing with. Yeah, it's just like I, I like to and not I like to analyze and like just like sit back and look at like how that is like affecting me. Like, mm -hmm. like uh. Like with that relationship, like yeah. I know she's using me, so I know not to really like think that this is gonna be any more than this. Yeah. But it's like I'm enjoying it. Like, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, so like, we're having a good time. Yeah, so it's just like it's important. Yeah, and it's like, is it wrong for me to be having a good time knowing that this is not gonna lead to something? Yeah. Or should I just enjoy the good time while it's here yeah, and then, you know, yeah. touch it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I think that's what life is. Like I was uh a long time ago I was thinking like I feel like happiness is not supposed to last forever you know what i'm saying like all the, all of the movies and the exactly. fairy tales and shit that say happily ever after but that's cap <laughs> they niggas be one of the like, yeah. like, like yeah. i feel like we supposed to have the ups and downs in life so that it helps us to continue working towards mm -hmm. achieving that happiness exactly. again you know what i'm no, saying because it's all it all works towards your end goal like, yeah, yeah like who you become everything you are right now is 
because of everything you went through. Yeah, for sure. Everything. Yeah. Every yeah. interaction with people, everything. Like yeah. it's all tied together. So so uh let's talk about that. Like your interactions with people. Um you were with a group the last time I seen you. What yeah. happened up until this point that you solo? Oh man, we were gonna do a lot. So yeah, we were I was with my group, yeah. DMV, the Minor Boys. Yeah. Um, me, my man, J Med, Scotto, uh, J Medina, yeah. Little Scotto. Hell yeah. Uh, but yeah, we we had a little situation that we we had, but like then shit got a little shady with our managers yeah. and the, just the whole deal situation that we yeah. were in, and so that ended. And then after that ended, you know, you know, certain members of the group yeah. got a little discouraged yeah. and kind of just. Yeah. You know, so like like music kind of slowed down a bunch, yeah. and like all of our activity kind of slowed down a bunch, and yeah. we all just kind of like started doing our own thing. But yeah. I mean, we still be like rocking together and all that shit. We'll make a song here yeah. and there, but yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like um, like I was thinking about that. Like we see a lot of groups don't end up sticking together, right? I was listening to um, these rappers. Uh, I don't know what their group is called. I think it's Eighty Three Babies. I think that's the group, but I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah, like, yeah. like, is I, it group I don't think so. I hope not. Oh, I hope man, not. Like, the wrong thing, but I really just started for real. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, I, was looking on, I was looking on Apple Music. Like, I like, I like some of their music. So I'm, I try to look at the tape, and the tape was gone. Mm-hmm. And so I'd be thinking, like, when you see groups, most of the times, like, we look at the highest group as, like, Migos, but mm-hmm. what's happening? Like, what do they got? That other groups don't have, you know what I'm saying? As far as like the they got the that's team, them together, they got the yeah. machine. That's yeah, what they yeah. got. They got a good ass team around you. Get that's all you really need is a yeah. good ass team around you. Yeah. yeah, that shit will help you conquer anything you're trying to conquer for real. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, what about a release date for the project? Oh yeah, see, and that was another little artsy part of it. You know, yeah. like uh, December 10th, 2017. That's when I got that ultimatum from my baby mother. To, to get married or not. Yeah. So I put it on December 10th of 2019 to show like everything. Yeah, so it show like, you know, on t- 2017, that's what happened. Yeah. 2018, that's when the decision happened. Okay. And th- th- here I am in 2019, yeah. like keep everything pushing. that happened since then, but yeah. like, yeah, we're gonna keep pushing type shit. You know okay. what I'm saying? I can respect that. I like that, I like that. Um, so what are you gonna do with this project that's going to push and elevate? Like you got videos you you working on, or you want to put some shows together? Like what's next after the project comes up? So I'm really trying to focus on like just pushing everything that I got. So like yeah, like I think this is like the best representation of my work right now. So yeah. I'm really just gonna be pushing this um, project really hard for like the next at least the next year, pretty much until like until like the because I'm a drop every like around this time yeah. every year so like for the next year it's really gonna be heavy on this project okay but i'm gonna be releasing some other music but you know it's all gonna be focused on around this thing yeah type yeah, shit. yeah i can fuck with that Got a bunch of videos planned like yeah. uh just another all just a bunch of like promotional content like yeah. vis- visual content uh playlisting yeah. and, like all that shit okay all hell yeah shit. i can fuck with that i can fuck with that what about um growing up in moco you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like there's a stigma behind that, and we hear that all the time when we talk about the DMV. But like, actually being from Oka, what can you you spill into the, you know, into the realm of the DMV right way that you know what I'm saying that can give us a better perspective? Well, I feel like I share like a identity from a bunch of parts of the 301 because I yeah, lived yeah. in so many parts of it. Like, yeah. like for my first 11 years, I was in Clinton, yeah. down in PG, like okay. South PG, yeah. and then like, well. Since pretty much since I was like 11, 12, I've been yeah. living in Silver Spring. Okay. And then like when I went, yeah, went to college in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then okay. When I was living with my big mother, I was up in Frederick. Mm-hmm. Like I've been all over the 301, but yeah. like specifically the Montgomery County part, like yeah. local part, like I don't know, it, it really gives you a, a good perspective of like all the different like races and cultures that yeah. you got around you. Like yeah. you really get like a real world view of things. Yeah, like, hell yeah. And, yeah. And it helps you to be. Uh, not affluent, but well versed. No, know, exactly. When you gotta go. Because you, you be seeing aspects. like you be seeing the rich motherfuckers, yeah. but you also be seeing like the poor motherfuckers too. Yeah, like yeah, you yeah. be right there in the mix of all that shit, right yeah. there. It's a perfect mix. Um, but what is it? Anything different that you notice from like being in Clinton to being in Silver Spring? Oh yeah, I mean all the, the people act different. Yeah. You know, like you know, down in Clinton, it's, it's PG. It's yeah, like, yeah. It's, a lot more black people, a lot yeah, more yeah. like all that, like just yeah. minorities for the most part. Cause I know like 
Latinos were moving in. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, gentrification like, the area. Yeah, crazy gentrification was like crazy. Yeah, and then like you got, you got people gentrifying DC yeah. heavy. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you got all the DC folk moving into like the suburbs yeah. and you know all that shit. But hell yeah. 